What's going on YouTube? Fresh Turn here, aka Blake. And I have a new video for you. And it comes from the land of Reno. Welcome one and all to my channel. If this is your first time turning in, my name is Blake. Basically what I do on my side time is I go to garage sales, yard sales, I go to thrift stores and I take those items I find there and flip them online on places such as eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and hopefully in the future I'm going to be going on to other sites to expand my net of sellability. Yeah, sellability. But today is a very special video. It's uh, another Reno thrift run. I went up there originally to visit my parents and show them my new dog, Rock. He's such a cutie. He's such a cutie. And that was fun. I missed him. I haven't seen him in a while. But they know how I am and they watched him for me because they knew I couldn't pass up the opportunity to go around Reno and hit up all those thrift stores they have out there and all the great products. And honestly, if I could take my California paycheck, I'm gone to Reno. I really would be, but such is not the case. So in the meantime, I just got to do it part time when I go out there, here and there. But anyway, enough of that mishigosh. On to the reason you were tuning in. Let's see the finds of the trip. And I don't know if you can see it, but uh, let's take a quick little gander. It is a stack and a half. I don't even. I didn't even bother counting how many items are in there. There's just a plethora of stuff in there. A plethora of stuff. And sorry that the lighting is going in and out. I'm trying to keep it bright, so just bear with me. But let's get into this. I have my pad ready. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, first up, first find is this vintage St. Thomas t-shirt proof right there we got the Oneida power tee not to mention we have the single stitch or the stitch as we call it sometimes just kidding no one calls it that uh, it's a 92 print I got this here for two dollars uh, didn't see any comps for it but a lot of times it happens with these vintage shirts you just have to put it up and I'm gonna put it up for 15. That's not a bad flip. First one done. And I'm gonna try to go through this quick so you're not just bored sitting there watching me go through stuff. But if you're into this thing, sit back and relax. It's gonna be an adventure. This was a hang loose t-shirt I got for $3. It's a vintage one as well. Got the tag right there. But, oh shoot. Oh, how about that? It's a rip. Nope, can't even do it. That's out. That's out. Oh well, that was like maybe a $15 sale, but still, sucks. You know, you want to get as much as you can, but it doesn't work out that way. Uh, next, we have, what is this? This is knit. I'm off. Hold on. One second. All right, I am back in effect, ready to wreck. How many y'all remember that? How many y'all remember that? So right here, got this Prana short sleeve shirt, brand new with tags. I paid $6.99 for it, and I'm gonna put it up for 20. There wasn't too many comps for this one. Uh, so I was like, eh, let's try and do a little bit of profit on it. Not bad, should do well though, new tags. Ain't really tripping. This next one I found at a thrift store that usually I don't like going to because I feel like they don't have too much stuff there. But I popped in anyway and they seem to have some good items today. But the day I went, they had at least I want to say at least 20 of these. It's a Levi's new tags, dad trucker, woman's jacket, 
but they only had it up to a uh, size medium. They had tons of smalls and two mediums, and I was like, I I know most women that wear this are bigger than a small or a medium, but they're around medium. So I just went ahead and just got one medium for now. And I kid you not, when I was looking at it, I could have bought out like at least four more, but something in my head was telling me, don't do it. You're gonna need that money later on in the trip. And I will show you why. Oh, I will show you why. But this year, I am gonna sell, I paid 25 for it, and I'm gonna sell it for 50 to $60. Yeah. All right, back to the shirt. So now I found this for how much did I pay for this one? This was two forty-four with my dad's thirty percent old person discount. Right on, pops. I love that you're old. Uh, Singha Lager Beer T-shirt. I don't really see comps for these, but I saw similar beers of you know Asian imported beer shirts. And they're around this range, so I'll probably get rid of it for 15. No problem there. This one, I, it caught my eye because to me it's a hideous color, but you know, I don't have the style to do it, but someone else out there will. It is a vintage uh, Navika jacket. Now I'm looking at light, I do see someone wrote on there xxl that really pisses me off now i'm looking at it hopefully i can get that out but i doubt it but either way this will go for about 65 um even with that i'm still gonna put up 65 i should still be able to get it out for at least 40 easily but I'm not even tripping off that at all at all but i mean it's, it's a pretty crazy jacket nice colorway and all that has a crazy colors on the inside you know I didn't see too many like this or at all but I saw tons of others and they're going around that 65 to 200 dollar range so I figured why not put up for 65 65 okay next I have this here I don't know if you can see that there but it's a uh, Magpul Industries Corporation uh, snap button shirt. I have two grays, same shirt. I saw a comp on it for $50 for two. I'm gonna follow suit and do the same. For these, I paid, how much did I pay for these? I paid $4 each, so a total of eight, and that will go into 50. Swish. Next up, we have this cinch, long sleeve button up. Cinch is like a like a Western cowboyish kind of brand. Um, there was none for this particular colorway. I do like how different it is. Uh, if I was to go to a Western bar or place, I would wear this one just because I know I'll stand out and be different. Uh, I paid four for it, and I'm gonna put it up for thirty bucks. And right now, I'm, on, on my a couple of my other trips, I found some other USA baseball stuff as well. I don't know if it's just that time of year that people are getting rid of it or for some reason. But I did find this USA Baseball hoodie. It's pretty sick. Um, what size is it? It's a large right there. And I would have kept it because that's a clean sweater. But it's all about profit time right now. I saw one that's a gray one online and I'm gonna shoot for the same range. I'm gonna put mine up for 30. I only paid four for it. This is a Woolrich, extra large, uh, like a indigo blue, short sleeve button up. Nice little shirt. For this one I paid five bucks for, and I will be flipping that into 20. You know, worst case scenario, 15 for this. This next one I didn't have to look up comps for because I bought several myself since I've started thrifting because I realized I could buy all the clothes I wanted in high school now that I have the money and no one can tell me how to dress. Mm. Yeah, I got a Filipino mom. She's straight. And I love her. I love her to death. 
But this here is a vintage Chaps hooded jacket, a little tuck away. Uh, this one has some intricate pockets and not like just a plain old Chaps jacket. It also has the inside one right here. So for this one, I will be pulling for, what am I gonna be doing this one for? I think it was 25. Yeah, it's 25. Maybe even 30, who knows? I might just get greedy. <laughs> Next up, I found this one. I still can't find anything wrong with it. So that's a good thing. I do see, I hate it when you go look at something like khaki colored and has like black lint on it. And you're like thinking, oh my God, it's dirty, but it's really just black lint. But anywho, there it is. It's a woman's Tommy Hilfiger trench coat. I don't know if you can see that. And there was a similar one, but it didn't have these style of buttons on it. And it just had a plain belt, but mine has the same style of panache as the buttons. So this one, I'm gonna keep it pretty high still. The other one sold for 30 online. I'm gonna push for 35 on mine just cause that is what makes it very much different. It's cuter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This one is a Visa shirt. It's like blue. Uh, let's see if we can get some color or light back in it. Like, yeah, there we go. And then, so this is like part of that in the style. How everyone's trying to go back to the 90s and vintage and all that. I'm not sure if this is like vintage or just some like foreign brand, but it still has the style that everyone's looking for. So I don't think I'll have a problem getting rid of this for at least what did I put this at? Bear with me. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I'm gonna put it up for $30 because I had a similar shirt like this that went for 25 and this seems to be a better design so there's hoping for that next I have this high surf luau shirt or aloha shirt however you want to put it I think when you put aloha though on eBay you get more hits there's more search because when I put luau it doesn't really pop up so I put both regardless that way I have more searches generated for this one i paid three dollars and i'll be looking for 15.99 that way it looks like it's less this here's your this is a staple if you're a reseller if you don't have some kind of ralph lauren then you have a different business model and you just don't go after these but i go after these because these are you know those bread and butter items that they talk about uh, they're just, you know, you find out the right price, put it up, that's guaranteed at least minimum $15 to $30, depending on the shirt. This one in particular I got for $4, and I will be looking for $18 for it. It's one of those things where you sell so much of it, you don't really have to look for comps, you just know that that's the general bomb part that you're looking for. Next up. We have this M Fine and Sons uh, heavy shirt, heavy fleece shirt, I think not fleece, but uh, it said heavy in the title, I forgot what it's called, but it's a really nice shirt, good for fall, winter, or even spring nights, and in this particular colorway too, there was only about two others that were sold, uh, I will be looking for 18, and I only paid four for it, and then, ooh, this seems to be a theme. Vintage, vintage, vintage. I love seeing this. this is, and this is in really good condition too. Really good condition. See that there? That's what you look for. That vintage tag. And then, of course, when you look, single stitch. You probably can't see it. Sorry. But it says Reno, jackpot, 777. Now that's a fresh looking shirt, you know. Before I did this, I was, I think I put it at, what did I put it at? I put it at $17.50, but now looking at it again, I'm gonna shoot for $25, because that's a really clean looking vintage shirt. And it's in good condition, so shoot. Start high, they said, start high. Next I have this vintage Wrangler cowboy shirt. 
Uh, it's a size, what size is this? I think it's a XL. Pretty nice, paid $4 for it. Only concern is that there. I'm hoping that's not blood. You can see that, yeah. Hoping that's not blood. I'm hoping this is some kind of dirt. Cause if not, that's four dollars. I mean, I probably could sell it and just say, "Oh, there's a stain," but that's really just effing disgusting. Like, don't do that. Like, like you asshole, when you do that to someone. So that one will be quarantined off to the sides. Side. Speaking of quarantine, just a quick note. Uh, I hope you guys are all being safe out there with this whole epidemic of the coronavirus going on. Please take measurements to protect you and your loved ones around. I work in the medical field and I work in a hospital and I am constantly around that stuff and just seeing the transition and the speed that this thing has gotten worse and worse and worse, it is no joke. Like don't kid yourself, don't think it's nothing. Like don't be a fool man. You know, prep, be safe. Take care of you and those around you. All right, back to the business at hand. Next item is this Ibex. Ibex. Uh, long sleeve button up. Really nice plaid. Like it. Never heard of this brand before. Looks really dope. It's a size medium. I saw this and I was about to just pass it and then something about the logo just made me look at it. And I'm glad I did. And then, boop, boop, boop. where is this? I lost my place. Paid four dollars for this, and this goes anywhere for. I'm gonna put this up somewhere between 35, 50 bucks. I'll probably start 50 and come down. But at the lowest, we're gonna do 30 for that one. That one. All right, man. Y'all got ashy hands right now? I got some ashy hands right now, like ashy. But that's all that hand sanitizer and washing and stuff. I'm protecting myself. And you include that on top of my job where I have to sanitize all the time. Man, I got some ashy Larry hands right now. It's just, sorry, there's neither here or there. I just felt like sharing that. All right, we got this vintage Hawaii uh, Aloha Luau shirt. I really like this one because it has my favorite plane in, in the whole world. It has a B-17 Flying Fortress. I wish it was my size. I tried to give it to my dad, but these vintage ones, they tend to run a little slim. And so it, <laughs> he has, you know, his belly like me. And, you know, it wouldn't fit him. So he gave it back. I paid five for it and I'm going to sell it for 35 or best offer, you know, and it's freaking crazy to me. I've never seen something like this and I was just like, dang, that's nice. This is a Holloway vest. I don't know if I'm doing y'all justice so you can see it. Holloway. And it has here a patch of the 1988 Calgary games on ABC. I remember that logo, that's dope. This, I didn't know what this was, but I researched it and looked it up. I guess it's a transportation company. And I guess it's like one of their vests. I guess they worked in conjunction with the Olympic Committee to you know, help them. And I paid 11.50 for this one. And I should have waited because I went back to the same store I went to savers, I went to two savers, five times, count them, one, two, three, four, five, in a 24 hour period out in Reno because there was that many stuff. And in particular, at the end of this video, I'll show you why I went back to this, this two stores so many times. But I just bought the bullet and went ahead and grabbed it then and there because it was too rare. I had to rescue it. It's just too clean. Shoot, how much did I pay for this? Let me find out. It is paid $11.50, and this is gonna bring in about $40 to $60 all day. And yeah, a little bit of dirt there, but we can get that off. 
We can hit that off with some cleaning products. All right, hit the camera and moved it. Next up we have this Miami Tees uh, Bourbon Street New Orleans t-shirt, French Cota, French Cota. I don't know, to me this is honestly like a grandma shirt. <laughs> or like a really cool auntie be wearing this. Or like that one uncle you don't wanna mess with, you know, cause he's from the South. And he just wears this all the time. Uh, this one I got for $2 and I'll be looking for 12 for it. No comps, but nice enough grab. This one's dope. This is a, sorry about my arm in the way all the time. A Dolphins Pro Players sweatpants in really good condition. I mean, really, really good condition. Like this had to be chilling in someone's closet. And I, I just, wow. I thought my boss would want it. She's a big Dolphins fan, but she said no. But that's fine, cause one of you out there, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it a lot. This will go for, how much does this go for? I paid $4.50 for it, and I will put it up for $28. No comps. You ever just be shopping, like thrifting, you're like, how do people give away this stuff? Like, it's just so dope. But at the same time, you're like, thankful they did, because now you get to pick it up. Next up is something I really, I know I say it all the time, like, oh, I wish it was in my size. Da, da. This is probably one of those items, top of the list, that I wish it was in my size. Because I've always, always, want, always wanted one, especially in this colorway. And it is a Helly Hansen jacket, hoodie. See, there's a hood. Do you see it? You see it? There's the hood. Oh, it's actually staying. That's crazy. There's the double H on the inside. This thing has you no know, crazy pockets of ventilation. Has it on the sleeve right there. The weather tech, weatherproof, Helly Hansen. I decided to go for it. I didn't see any in this style the first time I looked on eBay. But then I looked again and there was one in a different colorway. And I believe mine's a better colorway. And I I think I should get the same, if not more money for it. And I paid 13 for it and I'll be looking for 60 for this. And it's one of those jackets that you can, I'm not really too worried about getting out, even though the weather's changing, because it's one of those that you can just wear it spring, fall, or winter, you know? Sorry, I had to burp there. This here, I did put back and I'm glad it was still there. It is a diesel shirt, size XL, plaid. Uh, they wanted $8.99 and I was like, uh. I put it back and I was like, no, it's not worth it. That's kind of big of a difference. And I went back with my dad and used his discount and I knocked it down to $6.30. And that was more of a difference maker because then I was like, okay, now it's worth it to me. I generally don't like getting button ups past $7. There's some like Mizzen and Main I will grab all the way up to like 15 because those go for about 35 for me, like all day and up. But this one, it was, how much did I say it was? It was 6.30 and now I'm gonna flip it for 30 and that'll be some nice profit. Next up is this All Blacks. New Zealand All Blacks t-shirt. Uh, how much did I pay for this? Tax says $3.99, but I paid $2.09 for it. Pretty clean rugby shirt. It's really nice. Good condition. The black is in pretty good color. Color's a little, eh, but that'll be fixed in the wash and after ironing. This one I'm just asking for 15 just because of the style of it. Still a clean shirt. This here I got for $2. This is uh, another All Blacks t-shirt. Really clean. And I'm just gonna be asking about the same $15 for this one as well. It's a size extra large, the other one's a double XL. If they were the same size, I would've sold them together in a lot and maybe bump up the price, but no go 
we have this here is a Def Leppard tour concert t-shirt from 2006. For me, concert t-shirts are hit or miss. I, I sold some and some I thought would sell, haven't. Like I still have this Rolling Stones tour concert tee that's sitting there. But I have this like Tina Turner shirt that went fast. I was like, are you serious? Over. But, you know, you are who you are, you love what you love, and that just didn't happen. But for this one, I paid, how much did I pay for this? This was 209. There was no comps for it, but to play it on the safe side, I'm just gonna put it out for about 20, $25, just so I can make a sale on it. This one, again, you kind of don't need to look up. It's a polo. Polo. A little horse dude right there. It's a nice polo shirt. And I only paid, what did I pay? 244 discount again. And I will be putting it up for 18. No comps for this. That and I just didn't look because that's what I'm gonna sell it for. We have these sick, I mean super sick, uh, Volcom board shorts right here. It's super nasty. Like, these are raw. With these I paid, well, how much did I pay for these? 314 and it was originally 449 And that's what I hate about savers, man. They be, they charge you like dang near the price of a brand new board short or seasonal item. Like, it sucks. Like, you have to be super lucky and get there on the right day. And fortunately I was, I picked these up. These right here, I'm looking for $24 for, off of, what did I say, three, three fourteen? Yeah. Next up, we have this vintage Columbia hunting shirt. Right here's the leather patch. And you know, this is all wool right here. Very, very nice, impressive shirt. I saw comps online, they, they still had this, the little shoulder pad, but they had here on the sleeve the same thing. Uh, they didn't have this particular one, they had in this color, but I believe it's in the same realm as those. I paid $4 for this one, and I will sell it out for $25. This year we have an Orvis uh, zip-up kind of sweater jacket. I didn't see any in this particular colorway online but I and I don't normally pick up Orvis too much because I feel like the price has gone down for it and it is a little oversaturated uh, but particular items I will pick up this happened to be one has that nice quilted look I paid seven for it and so for this I'm basically hoping to get my money back uh, I'll be putting it up for 25 to 30 dollars for it that's gonna be sad a little bit. Oh, this is part of the game. Okay, moving along. This one, man. Uh, this is why I'm glad I have friends that snowboard and they got me into snowboarding because I started shopping around for snowboarding pants because I'm kind of a big dude and I don't fit my old pants anymore. And so, I already knew when I saw these right off the bat what they were and they were worth money. So I didn't even trip paying what I did. These are, well, first off, I paid $10 for them, size medium. And they are a pair of Burton Radar Dungaree snowboarding pants. So it basically looks like you're wearing jeans on the slope, but it still acts as snowboarding pants and they have like the zippers and everything that act like it. And it's just like a freaking raw pair. This is actually what I was looking for this past snowboarding season, but I didn't even get to go because I got too busy with life and my business. But these right here, I was thinking in my head, I was like, oh man, I'll probably just sell them for about 60 still good profit because i was going off of memory you know that was like back in what november 
yeah, around November I was looking at prices for these and maybe even back to like October. But when I re-looked it up, uh, there was no comps for it. Cause I guess, you know, snowboarding season is coming to an end. But brand new, those things are like $250, $300. And mine are in like new condition. So I'm putting those up for 150. If they sit till next year, that's fine. I'm okay with that. It is a seasonal item, but come fall or winter, I guarantee you, those are going out soon. Believe that. This right here is a sexy Cabela's. Whoop. Cabela's. Deer skin soft chamois, chamois, however you say that. I don't know. I'm educated, but not that educated. And you probably still couldn't see that. Sorry. And it is soft, it's nice, it's a heavy, like, outdoor shirt. And I already knew to grab it just because, I mean, usually when you see, I see Cabela's, I'm like, no. Like, Cabela's not going to sell. Like, it has to be particular Cabela items that will sell really well. And when I read that it was a deer skin soft one, I already put it in the cart and then looked up the comp because I knew it would be worth it for the pull. And... Turns out it was because that seven dollars will bring in 30 to 35. And I know some of these are like winterish items, so that's fine. That just means that I'm gonna be stacked and ready come the fall. I won't have to do too much work. And then you know, of course, times are changing right now, and you know, it's starting to be spring and all that. And I have some spring stuff, uh, not too much. And honestly, I'm kind of changing my business model right now as we speak. I, um, I enjoy doing clothes. I love doing clothes, but uh, I'm still in that mindset off of learning from Bonafide Hustler. You know, I want those big ticketer items, you know, like the time and the money is something I don't have and I want it to be worth it when I'm doing it. And so because of this past week, a couple things happening. I might be shifting my my selling in my store. If that makes sense. What items I'm going to be selling? But it's only a theory. I haven't made you know. I haven't dove into that fully yet. But I'm testing the waters right now. So stay tuned. That might be coming because it brings in a lot more money. Just saying. Here we go. This here is a roper. Long sleeve button up, another cowboy western type of company brand. Uh, they make some nice pro snaps, they just make really nice shirts, in my opinion, uh, as far as like all the western clothing is concerned. Uh, I like them and I like Cinch more than like Wrangler and all that. Uh, and this one I paid, what did I pay for this one? I paid four dollars for this one, uh, and I already know that my boy that I work with. Uh, he's a crazy dude, like, I swear, but love you, dude. Uh, he's looking for a Western shirt. I'll check with him first, because I promised him any Western shirts I picked up, because we are similar sizes. I will give him dibs on before I post online. Um, so if he chooses that he does not want this one, I will put it up for $20, if not $25. But playing it safe with all these prices I'm giving you, I'm uh, just going to put up and say 20 bucks. All right. Now, these last three are really, really dope to me. I think they're just the cleanest finds. This here I got in the active wear section and it just caught my eye. I was like, I don't even know anything about bicycle shirts and all that. I just, I know I want to get into it because I know they can bring in some money. But anyway, this is a... Let me do this properly. It says, uh, what does that say? San Francisco original steam. Yeah. Steam beer. And then on the front, you have this here. And it's really clean, you know, especially since I'm from the Bay, I, I just had to grab it. Man, look at that. Even, shoot, even on the collar, you got the anchors on that. That's a sick, man. That's one thing I do know about these bicycle shirts, the crazier the design, the better you will get in your return. And that right there is just freaking sick. Look at that. That's just a nasty design. 
nasty being good. But I paid three dollars for this as a micro beer jersey, and they do other brands as well. Uh, this one in particular is about a San Francisco brand. Paid three dollars for this one into forty. Mmm, can't beat that. Can't beat that at all. Oh man, this one. This one is, as you whippersnappers would say, it's fire. This one is fire. Fire, yeah. This here is a vintage starter, Super Bowl 28, extra large, half zip jacket, and relatively positively good condition. I don't really see any yellowing too much on there and I will oxyclean the hell out of it. There's a little stain right there. I don't know if that's picking up on the camera right there. But outside of that, it's, man, this is a really dope jacket. Right there. Funny thing is it had a tag on it. It said $12. I, I just touched the tag and it fell off. And I didn't correct it, I don't pick it up. I just brought it up to the front and said, let's see what happens. Lady went and go got, yeah. Lady went to go get the manager. Said nine dollars. Right there, three dollar coupon. Just because it fell on the floor. Mm. All right, so this one here, I was really puzzled by. Um, and yes, dad, you found it. There's your props, so the whole world can know. He, he loves just rubbing that in my face. Because he, he actually finds some hidden stuff, like, I don't know how he does it. He finds like the rarest stuff, whether it be like cars or, you know, thrift goods, like he can find it. But he found this for me and I used a 30% discount for it. I paid, how much did I pay for this one right here? I paid, it was 15, but with his discount, I only paid uh, 10 50 for it. And what it is, is a, all blacks jersey it's a uh, 2005 New Zealand tour jersey it says right there and comes for these were like around you know 30 to 60 dollars there was a few of them online uh, worth some money is because of this it is a limited edition and that's nothing, you know, it helps because it's a limited edition. But the thing about this one is that right there, it says number zero. And for me, I had no idea what that meant. Like, does that mean it's a mess up? They were supposed to put like a 10 or some other numbers in front of it. But after doing my research, what I found out is this is like the original. This is the proof. Like, this is like the concept of all the others like all that follow like it's off of this design right here so this is like you know for the money the paper the mint like those two gold bars they use to make the money and print them like that's what this is this is this is not a copy this is the original of the original so at a bare minimum for this i'm gonna sell it for 150 because of that fact and just like that boom clothes piled is done now moving on to the next section which is bedding okay Whew. sorry so this isn't too big of a profit margin getter but it was still like a really awesome thing one of those like oh, i gotta save it kind of items i paid 209 for it and this because it was really cool i just put it and it only sells for 15 but like I said, it's a really awesome, it's a vintage Sesame Street sheet. I think it's for like a twin or a full bed. I doubt they'll have this for like a king or queen. Uh, it was $2.99, but I got it, you know, with my dad's 30% discount, got it for, you know, the 209 price. And then look at all those, look at all those characters. We got Cookie Monster going in there. We got Big Bird. We got Oscar the Grouch. We got Bert and Ernie. Hey Bert. Hey Bert. You know, that's cool. If I had kids, I'd sanitize the hell out of this, but I'd give it to them. So that's that. 
And then the part I've been waiting for this whole video, show you the big trip. I don't know what that is, but I just did it because I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, so what you're seeing here is a vintage Corningware um, collection. These are all over the map on eBay. There's some that are hit or miss, especially this blue corn flower model. Um, they aren't particularly like some people are like falling into love, you know, when they see that one person that got away with like millions of dollars, not millions, but thousands for their sale. They try and follow suit and just put it up for no reason. Uh, I'm going to be a little more conservative with that one. I'm still going to try and get my money out of it. Um, together, this whole pile right here, I paid $17.09 thanks to my dad's discount and also what I paid on myself. Uh, for this, um, all together, if they're sold individually, they'll be $81. But I'm going to be shooting for $150 to $200 for these. And not a bad flip. You know, I'll probably charge for shipping on this one. All right, this little bad boy by himself, he is gonna go out for, how much are you going out for? Uh, $15, uh, after discount, I paid $325. And that's not bad, you know, um, sale is a sale. Vintage and all, it doesn't have the, you can see it right there. Doesn't have the microwave range on there so that means it's an older like 70s model so that's good so I'm confident I should be able to get at least $15 for this one uh, that's around the range that all the other ones are going for so that's what we're gonna ask for this one all right next we have this trio of vintage corning wear uh, they're all matching well these two are pretty much for themselves this one goes by another set but it does have both of them in it the Le Persil and La Sauge. Kept thinking of a sausage. <laughs> Some fat. Uh, these together, I. Shoot, what am I doing this one for? So, this I will put out for $75. Um, maybe even $100 around that price range for these uh, all together. Um, I paid. How much did I pay for this? Um, I think I paid 1307. Yeah, 1307. I'll take that back. I am going to be looking for 50 for this. Sorry. 50 to 75 is what I meant. All right. So, next we have this one here. This is what the heck is this one? <laughs> Man, sorry. I I have my notes down and I just lost my place of which one is which all right next up we have this big behemoth here this is the Le Echelote <laughs> La Marjolaine I hope that's right I'm so sorry uh, this year it should bring in a good profit this is one of the ones I'm hoping on and I believe it is because a lot of the other vintage corning wear, it only had this on there, along with the like La Persil and all the other lettering, but it never had this one. This one I did see comps for, it was very limited, and all the comps I saw for this were high. Um, so this one is like a more rare one, it's also an older one. Because as you can see, where is it? I think it's this side. Yeah, see it's a stamp. Uh, you can't see it from that angle, but yeah, it's just stamped here underneath instead of having it printed on. Like the, because the old, later models would have it printed on like either here or on the very bottom of it. Indicating, you know, because they'll tell you like oven, microwave, you know, and you know, some of the older ones you can do it on the stove and the others but you know these newer models not this one in particular but newer models will say you know oven and microwave so helps you indicate what age it is but this in particular is what makes it a rare find because this model 
is harder to find. I mean, yeah, you still have this on all the other ones, but it won't say this first. It only say like this, and it say like La Persil and La Sage, but it does not have this. So this one, I paid. How much did I pay for this one? I got it for eight ninety six, and I'm shooting for eight hundred dollars for it. One sold like this for. What was it? I think it was 900. So I'm gonna go a shade under. Why not shoot for the sky? You know, it's only about, you know, nine dollars into 800. Why not? I'm going for that big thing in the sky. And like I said, this one had a lot of watchers too. The one that is on sale on eBay has watchers, about 50 of them. So this one does have interest even at that high of a price. So I have no doubt that this will sell eventually. May not be right away, but I know this will sell. So that's that one. And on to the main one. The whole reason I got excited. See, look, even this doing his little Harlem shake. The whole reason why I'm so excited, and I will show you that last item now. Boom, there it is. Now this one is kind of a newer model because it does say microwave on it underneath right here but the thing about this is again this is in the beginning and that's is, this is strictly going off my research of all the corning wear this is what i believe is true and i will hold it but it does have this and this again and that's already what makes it different and rarer and harder to find and my mom pointed out too if you could you can also tell because the fruits are different between the years and the sizes. So that's one thing to pay attention to as well. Like the other models, like it'll just, this won't be here, it'll be gone, it'll be something else. But the thing that makes it even rare is this over here, is the La Romarin, or Le, or La, whatever. La, 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 la. <laughs> that's what makes it different and worth the money because it's just hard to find you know you can't really just go out and get these unless you like stumble upon them they're really hard to find and I saw comps online for these and they were ridiculous there's one that is like this but it's only a three quart this is the big boy this is a five quart and there's I mean honestly the sad part is my lid is chopped right there and right there. See the two? Right there and there. That's two spots. The other one is the other one I said, you know, it's a three three quart and it's in better condition. The lid part is. This is still fine. But that one is going for seven grand. This one like the other model is going for seven grand and has 46 watchers last time I checked. And that was today on the 12th of March, 46 watchers. So people are watching this in hopes of it going down in price or maybe getting on it. So my plan with this one is I'm gonna put it up for, count them, five grand. I'm gonna put this online on eBay for five grand. I might do it as an auction to see how that goes because even if I get that one bid that's five grand right there so I'm hoping to turn six dollars that's not that discounted six dollars and thirty cents into five grand off of this and you know a lot of people are skeptical about it you know this you're probably watching this right now like bullshit you're not gonna do that there's no way you're gonna flip it like man that's probably what the other couple people that flipped theirs for the grand for the two grand the four grand said and then look they got it so why can't i be that person i'm going in positive and that's what i'm shooting for right there and that's why i'm excited Woo! <laughs> but now that that's done out the way, let me put this away before something happens to it. Oh, it's five grand. All right, now that that's all done, 
Let's do the numbers, the digits, the numericals. So total spent on this trip for clothes, I spent $214.77. For the bedding, I spent $2.09. And for all the kitchen items, I spent $60.68. Total all those up, that comes to a grand total of $277.54 spent. Now, the hopeful, the potential, the man I wish and I hope it happens, profits. Totaling up all of the potential profits for clothing, that'll be $13 hundred twenty five dollars and forty nine cents for bedding that is fifteen dollars and for kitchen that's gonna be six thousand and thirty dollars with a grand total of seven thousand three hundred and seventy dollars and forty nine cents in potential profits damn that is sexy hope you enjoyed my video it is time to say goodbye Thank you for coming along. This is my 20th video, Small Milestone. And I'm happy that you watched and you've still been watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. And as always, take care of one another, love one another, peace.